LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, lift off conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten, nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. T minus fifteen. Minus five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. Plus 45 seconds. Now, moments ago, we did throttle down the engines in preparation for Max Q. Max Q. And there's the call out that we just passed through Max Q. That is the largest structural load that the vehicle will see throughout ascent. Now, coming up, we will have three events happening in quick succession. That'll be main engine cutoff, or what we call MECO, stage separation, and second stage engine start one, or SES one. MECO. Stage separation confirmed. In recognition. Bearing separation confirmed. We have got some great views. All four of those events that I mentioned, Miko stage separation, SES-1, and fairing deploy, all visually confirmed on your screen. We've got a nominal trajectory call out on second stage, which is great news. Now you'll notice that uh, the, there is soot on some of these rockets that we reuse. Um, and here's a quick explanation of why and how that soot forms. The rocket grade kerosene or RP-1 used to fuel a Falcon 9 is carbon based. So when it burns uh, the fuel, it generates soot. Now, as the booster approaches landing, as you can see on your, your left-hand screen, it does a re-entry burn to slow the, the vehicle down prior to re-entering back into the Earth's atmosphere. Um, otherwise, aerodynamic forces would rip it apart. So because the entry burn occurs with the engines first, the booster flies through its own plume. And that is what deposits the soot onto the rocket. And again, we're just about a minute away from that entry burn, so you will see uh, that live on your screen. Again, we've got some great views of our Starlink mission today. On your left-hand screen, that is the first stage booster making its way back to Earth. And on your right-hand screen is the second stage taking the satellites to their drop-off orbit. Stage one FTS is saved. Stage one, entry burn startup. And there you can visually see on your left-hand screen, the entry burn has begun on that first stage. This will last about 20 seconds or so long. 
Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one entry burn shut down. And that concludes the entry burn on the first stage. And really cool, you can kind of see the grid fins uh, as they rotate to help guide the vehicle back to its landing zone, which again today is a shortfall of Gravitas waiting for this booster in the Atlantic Ocean. We are going to have landing burn coming up on first stage that will last about 20 seconds long. And Stage one, landing burn startup. There's that call out that the landing burn has begun on first stage. And it looks like we have a live view stage of one, the drone ship. Touchdown of Falcon 9, which is great news. Our booster landing today marks our 101st overall successful recovery of a first stage. And as I mentioned, we won't have live audio or visual confirmation of payload deployment due to the lack of ground station coverage. A big thank you to the Range and Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's mission. If you're interested in signing up for Starlink service, head over to Starlink.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.